Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks instead of GIS and remote sensing. So basically today I will try to discuss about a model. This model is the Rusli model. So mainly this is a Rusli model. It is the revised universal soil loss equation. So basically today I will try to show you this part how you can easily implement this model in Google Earth Engine platform and then try to make the soil soil estim loss estimation okay so basically this model uh, is depends some factor so when you want to make this model first of all we try to discuss about our data set which data set you want to need uh, basically uh, this is the concept framework of the soil loss analysis by rusli model so basically uh, we need to the total four factor when you want to develop this model first of all you need to the soil data and then we also need to the rainfall data then dam data and land use and land cover data set we need so now you can easily use the different types of soil data in here you can also use here the different types of rainfall data it can be a uh, satellite data set or if you have the any ground station data set you can also use there is a no problem also you can see dam data you can use any types of dam okay so basically uh, we are using here the nasa srtm data set also in here and land use land cover data set uh, in this time you can use here the landsat image or, or sentinel image for creating this land use land cover classification map okay and then we need to calculate the soil factor from the soil factor we need to find out the k factor okay and also rainfall data we can also make the r factor and previous i also try to discuss uh, for the further how what is the k factor what is the r factor i also try to discuss later also you can see from the dam data i can create the two things solve map and follow accumulation and from the follow accumulation i also try to calculate the ls factor okay and from the land use land cover map i can create the p factor and also create the c factor and after creating all of the factor i just put the equation okay in this equation we can use for the calculated the annual soil loss per acre so here you can see some uh, r r here is the r factor is the rainfall erosivity then also you can see k k is the soil erodibility and all l is for the soil length salt length and s for the salt steepness and c for the vegetation cover so you can easily calculate the ndvi using the landsat or sentinel imagery for creating this factor vegetation cover then erosion control practice you can uh, use this the p factor okay so in this time here you can see so mainly uh thus you can see the rainfall erosivity this is the r factor and mainly this is the estimation of the soil was affected by rainfall and the rate of the runoff which is the influenced by rainfall erosivity factor and the map of r factor for the study uh or as preferred by using the following step okay so in this time you can see mainly when i work with the rainfall data set we can use here the charts in the painted data set chips painted data we can use basically this is the climate hazard group infrared and precipitation with the station data we can use it also k factor also you can see the solve statement for the ls factor so in this time i just simply uh, go to my code editor and try to show you that all of the things step by step how we can easily do and created the soil uh, erosion map okay so let's go so I can simply open my code editor in here. So okay, so you can see here. Uh, here I already uh, created this type of soil erosion map, and uh, you can see this is the map. And here I calculated all of the factors. So says first of all I make the soil loss map, and from this soil loss map I just calculated the soil loss classes so different types of class so here you can see i will uh, also put this different types of class in here as a chart so we can see the slight moderate high very high and severe uh, different types of soil loss class we can classify it. and if you want to download the data set simply click on here and then simply create uh, download the data set for the different types of soil loss okay and also you can see we also calculated the uh, mean or average soil loss for this region okay and in this code you can see i use here this type of data set uh you for the rainfall data set uh for the r factor 
we are using at the charge data mainly charge data is the painted data set we can use all thing is the soil we can use at the open land map this data set we can use at the soil texture classes uh, of the soil six soil depth we can use in here and this resolution 250 meter resolution we can use at the soil data and if you want you have the or any data set as a soil you can easily use there is a no problem also you can see uh, we are using at the dm data set in this time we are using here the nasa srtm data set okay so if you have any other dm data uh you can easily use it there is a no problem for that also you can see for the land use land cover classification we are using at the modis land cover yearly data set so if you have the own data set suppose you create the supervised machine learning method and created the land use land cover classification map using for the sentinel or land set image you can easily use this uh land use land cover map also in here and then implement this model so here you can see this is our model i mainly use all of this uh data set and try to calculate it all of the things step by step okay and we can just simply classify it. you can see this is my soil classes so different types of class we can classify it for the slight moderate very high low this type of class we can uh, classify it according to the soil loss you can see this is a soil loss map we can create it and then uh, simply classify it okay also you can see this is the p factor we can calculate the p factor and this is our land use land cover classification map okay in this time we are using here the modis data set for the land use land cover map but if you want you can also use here the other satellite images such as landsat sentinel and then create the land use land cover classification map and also make this uh, type of uh, erosion map okay also in this c factor map we can also create it and also we can create it for the ndvi map okay so all of the factor we can calculate it and then try to make the soil erosion model using the rusli model okay so here you can see so I simply define here this uh, the uh, star data and in data in here, and then simply put the calculate the R factor, also K factor, also you can see I calculate the LS factor. So all of the factor I can calculate it in here, and then finally I just simply uh, calculate. You can see this is my equation, soil loss equation. I simply put here the soil loss equation and develop this card. You can, you can see we can easily get this all of the P factor. Okay. You can see finally we can just simply some classes okay so you can simply find out some classes you can see uh this is our equation mainly this is the equation you can see uh this is soil loss equation you can simply put in here uh this is the equation you can simply put this equation and then try to make this soil loss equation in here so you can simply classify it if you have you can also increase the classes and use it that is no problem and you can easily uh change the different types of data set suppose uh, if you want you can also use your, your station data for the rainfall data set you can also use there is no problem if you want you can also use here the different types of other soil data sets such as soil color data set you can use here the different types of dim data you can also use here the land set or center elements for calculating the ndvi for the modis uh, in this time i use here the modis that land use land cover data set but if you want you can also use here the uh, suppose land set or sentinel image for making the supervised classification and make the land use land cover data set okay suppose in this time you can say i also imported my district all of the district boundary shape file so that i can simply search at any district and i can easily get this uh soil losses map so some simply suppose i put here this name for the jamalpur so now i can get the result for the jamalpur uh district what is the soil loss uh classes i can get all of the classes for the jamalpur district and see so this is my boundary area so now it calculated all of the soil loss factor for this region and finally you can also export this map as a tip format okay and then you can easily make the map in arcmap software for research tip for or other things you can easily create so you can see now we created this map for this uh, region okay so any region you can easily get this type of map Suppose you can simply change this area. Suppose I simply put this area, suppose, and click on the run. So now I can get this uh, Dhaka soil erosion map for the Dhaka district. So any district, we can simply get this result. Okay, and finally, we can easily uh, download this all of the data 
in csv file format or if you want to need the data is a tip format you can easily do it okay and also you can see it also calculated the average soil loss okay so if you have any question or in doubt about this you can also contact with my whatsapp or, or contact with my email so i hope you can also get the solution okay thank you for watching this okay thank you